Welcome to another of my uh, Living in Israel uh, tutorial, video tutorials, slash demos, whatever you want to call them, uh, on YouTube. So I'm just making a few videos uh, for the benefit of, um, I guess, just anyone with, um, you know, relatively limited Hebrew trying to find out how to do some, navigate some common websites. And I will be transitioning next into Green Invoice, which is a um, account and invoicing platform for freelancers that I've been using for a number of years and which I um, strongly recommend. The uh, flip side is that it doesn't have any English interface. So if you're moving into freelancing in Israel, I'll be showing that. And the ones I have done so far have been um, in this video series have been Super Farm, which is the Israeli pharmacy and uh, Shufa Sal, the Israeli grocery store. So I'm making this uh, at the time of the coronavirus, as you can see from the demo on Yach Daim, their homepage. Um, so that's kind of those the motivations for these, but this is more general. So I just want to give, I'm going to make this a five or 10 minute video if possible and quickly explain what this is. So Yach Daim is like the main uh, second hand. Yach Daim literally means um, Yach Nia actually is a second hand thing, whether that's a car or a table or a refrigerator. Um, and it's a huge website in Israel. A lot of rental properties also go up on Yach Daim. Uh, so it's yad2, twishdaim.co.il. Um, their web interface has gotten a lot better over the years. And this is, I'm recording this on the 3rd of April. So uh, this is how it looks right now. Um, I'm going to just basically show how to go flat hunting um, for renters. So I'm just, uh, maybe I'm extrapolating uh, from myself to other people too much. But I think a lot of people, maybe who this video might be, might be relevant or interesting for would probably be in the position of having moved to Israel and looking for rental apartments. Now, uh, a lot of stuff is going up on Facebook groups. That's always been the case, but there are certain advantages to searching in the edge time um, that exceed those of Facebook groups. So the um, let me just before I jump into the, the rental search facilities, I'll talk about some of the stuff here that you have and that land the top category on. This is again the how it looks at the time of right of recording but it hasn't changed that much over the years so Nadlan is property you have here Dirotel Mechira which is properties for sale so if you're if you're in the market to buy a house or an apartment that's your page Dirotel Askara is uh, flats to flats or apartments to rent Shutafim is um, uh, roommates so if you're looking for like a room share in other words you don't want your own place um, that's the button to click then they also have Rechev, which is cars. So you're looking for private cars and uh, secondhand cars. Yach uh, is just general. Rehut is furniture. Um, Salulari is cell phones. So you have all manner of secondhand items. Drushim is a, um, what's the word in English? Uh, like uh, vacancies, um, you know, a jobs board basically. So they have that as well here. Akola Esek, this is a relatively new section of stuff for businesses. Uh, Chayot is uh, animals, pets. You even have horses here. Let me just check this out quickly, the, the horse market. Uh, dogs, cats, all manner of animals are uh, actually being uh, sold on Yach Daim. Um, uh, Bale Mktsoa, this is just a directory for Installator as a plumber, so you can find uh, you know professionals in your area to call up for your plumbing and whatever. Um, and that's it. So let's just take a look for today's video on uh, Dirot Lehaskara, which is, as I said, uh, rentals. Now, these are the boxes. So you have um, your basic search option, firstly, and the second thing you have is Chipuz Mit Kadem, which is, um, that's advanced search, okay? So the first thing is Chapsu Azo, Ir, Shechuna, or So you can search by area. Um, that wouldn't be too useful for most people. That would be like a block of the country. Uh, Ir is, is probably what most people will be looking for. Uh, Shchuna is neighborhood, and I'm just going to highlight the words as I say them. Shchuna is neighborhood and Rehov is street. So most people, let's say we're looking in um, Yerushalayim. So when I start typing it, Yud, Reish, Vav, stuff starts coming up. Okay, so as I type in Yerushalayim, that's Jerusalem for those that are not aware, you can see you have neighbor you can search in a uh Ezo, Ezo Yerushalayim and Machoz Yerushalayim. Now these are actually uh these are defined things in Israel, Azorim and uh, Machuzim. 
and um, as well as the city so um, there would be reasons but you can click here when you type in Yerushalayim so we can go for the city we can go for the area or we can go for the machos. So I'm just going to click on the city. That'll go according to the municipal boundaries. And for most people, that would probably be enough. But we could also look in, an, in a certain neighborhood, right? So we have Gilo, Givat Mordechai, Katamonim. Uh, we even have Silwan over here. I'm just going to do the whole city, right? Um, now, next next drop down is Sugneches. That is what type of property. And um, you can click on Od Sugim to increase the options. So just in terms of... If you don't know where in Hebrew, I recommend putting installing onto your computer the Google Translate add-on. And you can just watch this. You can drag over some Hebrew text, click on this fella, and do uh, townhouse, right? So you can get a quick translation there. Um, but I'll just talk through some of them. Dira is obviously a dira, which means an apartment. Um, so I'm going to take that. Um, Sometimes you're actually better off not taking any of these options and just getting everything because you might want a few, you might miss some. So it's kind of sometimes safer. Uh, Machzan is, uh, this is another one people would check for a bit, which is a uh, storage unit. And uh, Sublet is here. Okay, this is Sublet. And this is Studio. Uh, Chania is a parking space. Yes, people sell parking spaces here. Um, Yechidat Diu is a single unit, single apartment unit. Triplex is a triplex. Martaf is a uh, basement if you uh, feel like living in a basement for some reason. So I'm going to take Dira, I'm going to take Yechidat Diu and uh, just that, okay? Chadarim is the number of rooms and this is M from and this is add to. So you have two sides to this drop down so you can go for. Let's say we're looking for a one to two bedroom um, apartment, one to two over there. And this is, um, this is, uh, we're in, yeah, we are in rentals, okay. This is the, um, sorry, Mechir B'Shekalim Chadashim. Hebrew is full of these of these things that are called Kitsurim, and sometimes I think that, I was thinking the B, the Beit was in the Kitsur. Uh, this is just Shekalim Chadashim. So this is price in shekels. From Mechir is from the price, Ad Mechir is to price. So um, let's say we're looking for a place from 6,000 to 10,000 shekels. One, two, three, four, five, ten thousand. 10,000. Okay, that's our budget. So we're looking for uh, one to two. Let's just recap here. In Jerusalem, we're looking for apartments. We are looking for one to two rooms between six and 10,000 shekels. Now, just to the left here, we have a button that says on it, Chipus mit kadem. That means advanced search. Mit kadem means advanced. Um, this gives you more options and I do think this is actually important. Now bear in mind what I said previously that um, sometimes people putting up Yad time listings are sloppy and even though something has a Mizug air conditioning, which um, if you are from a temperate climate like me, you will not survive in Israeli summer without air conditioning. But some, sometimes people are lazy and uh, and they you know publish they do have air conditioning, but they just don't bother to tick the box. So the danger by ticking these boxes is you'll miss out on perfectly good listings that meet your criteria. Um, nevertheless, I'll just describe what these do. So what, what some of these are, well, some of those that would be relevant, okay? Starting on right to left as Hebrew goes. Um, uh, that's properties. Uh, just a little bit of vocab I picked up here. Um, de la Cote, Pandora is like these, uh, these, uh, like kind of iron doors. Uh, Mamad, this is, this is a, uh, Makom Mugan Dirati. This is a safe room. Now, I'm not sh sure why that's actually a filter because I think every apartment, uh, Dirati, sorry, Dirati. Um, you have also Mamak, which is a Makom Mugan Komati, uh, which is one for the whole floor. But, uh, by law, I think everyone after a certain, uh, year, uh, has to have a mamad every apartment in Israel, but anyway, it's a filter, so I'm not going to bother taking that. Meruhetet uh, is one people would be interested in. That means furnished. So if you're looking for a furnished place, you might want to take this. Um, these are bars for the uh, you know for the windows. Um, what else could be useful for people here? Machsan. Sometimes rentals come with a machsan, a storage unit. Mizug air conditioning, as I said, essential, essential, essential. Verpasset is a uh, porch. Meshupetset is a place that's been through a shiputz, which means a renovation. So this means renovated. 
Um, so just to recap on the main ones you might want to take on the advanced filter search, search you might want to go for Furnish, that's Merlo Hetet, you might want to go for Mizug, that's short for Mizug Avir. Um, uh, Merpeset is a balcony slash a veranda and uh, certainly I lived in a place without a, but actually I still do, we have we have a rooftop you can use but we actually don't, it's quite a nice apartment but um, I think it really affects your quality of life, something you don't think about. Um, I miss you, Pets. Um, Kuma is floor, so you can go for like a place on floor one to two. Now, if memory serves me correctly, in Israel, uh, floor one is the ground floor, and in the US, floor they call that floor is zero. Um, so, I th uh, sorry, zero is ground. So this is like basically the purpose of this filter is if you don't want it to be above a certain floor. So this is up to and including. So let's say floor three and uh, Godel Dira in this is the size of the apartment in square meters. So if you want to avoid living in a shoebox, for example, we might be looking for apartments 60 meters, 60 square meters and up, in which case we would take the minimum filter and just leave this guy blank. Tariq Knisa, this is actually quite important. This is the entry date. So again, people tend to, um, people tend to uh, not take stuff down on Yaj time and you might want to uh, specify. This will mean going forward. So. 3rd of April now, today, so let's say the entry, we're ready to move in in a few days. Now, actually at the moment, we might find very little because of coronavirus. Um, and this is Knisa Miyadit, Miyadit is immediate entry, okay? So I'm just going to leave this blank because I think the market's kind of a bit van vanished at the moment. Thankfully, I'm not actually looking. Khipus Khofshi is free text, so if you want to search for a keyword that might appear, you can put that in there and click on Khipus. And the moment truth comes... Wow, we only found two places in the whole of Jerusalem that met our... So let's, this probably is not realistic. Uh, it could be actually because of the fact that there is a government lockdown and I, d I don't think you can actually legally move apartment now. Uh, actually, there's only one. So I'm just going to loosen up a bit on these criteria. I'm going to take off the room criteria. I'm just going to take off the budget criteria. Um, and I'm going to specifically also take off all the chipus mit kadem so that was just for demo purposes and uh, let's just see probably we'll find more stuff now yes we have indeed found more stuff we actually found 703 uh, advertisements and that's too much but let me just explain how the how the listings work here so you have ones from realtors and you have ones that which are estate agents and for a separate video about the kind of scam in which um, legally estate agents are not allowed to charge tenants for their estate agent fee, which is one month rent plus 17% VAT. It's a complete scandal that that was actually outlawed over a year ago. And yes, um, the simple what estate agents do is simply say, okay, if you don't want to pay the fee, we're not going to show you the apartment. So pay the fee. So it's 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 mafioso stuff. Uh, but that's the that's unfortunately the reality that we have to deal with. But yeah, time of helpfully, uh, you see this word here, tivuch, which is uh, on top of the 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 preview image. So that will basically um, tell you that it's from an estate agent. Now you will get people that are not estate agents that are actually listing stuff. Um, but uh, that is it. So you can see the ones in red are from an estate agent. So you can see just the name of of the the lister here is. Uh, uh, um, it's in sorry it's it's in highlight basically right so you can see um, you can see the name of the estate agent Tivuch look out for Tivuch um, but these ones would be private the ones that are just in the white okay um, now you can click on this little uh, attractive heart icon in order to put that to a short list okay Hivanti means okay basically and there are two main ways to search through this right so you have me um source according to date listed and that's probably the best way for most people that's the latest ones come first this is my pathetic uh, trillular r attempt in hebrew so that's ordering from cheap to expensive or from expensive to cheap hatzag um you can choose only to see ones with a uh, photograph. So if you tick, if you tick im tmuna, and let that'll turn to orange, and um, and imachir is ones that have a price. So this will, if you click on these buttons, you will filter out listings with no price, which is always kind of shady. You need to call them anyway. 
um, and this will filter out the ones with no photographs. So basically, click into one of them here. Let's go for this one here. Uh, you can see the address, Hovavetsi on, Asrim Vesheva, Dira, Talbia. This is a neighborhood in Jerusalem, Talbia, Komemio, Jerusalem. Three rooms, one, it's on floor one, it's 75 square meters, and it is 88,500 shekels, and there are four photos. So you can click on this, and um, basically, this is how you look at the photos. You click on the photo thing, one, two, three, four beautiful um there's tiur aneches is description shalosh kivan avir three like um winds my, my english is getting poor wind from three directions where passage shemesh there is a sun balcony umer peshet she roots two two so three two balconies on this thing it's knisa miyadi for immediate entry um the vad bite which is the uh, fee you pay to the house committee that's this one here that's Le Chodesh is for the month, it's 250 shekels a month, it's on floor 3. Now this is also part, important, the Arnona Le Chodshayim. Chodshayim, you see the two Yuds here, that means for two months. It's the jewel, in Hebrew there is a grammatical form for just two. There's singular, jewel, and plural in Semitic languages, right? So that means for two months. So that's Arnona is 500 for two months. That means the Arnona, which is the municipal tax, is 250 shekels per month. Which means Arnona is, um, excuse my bad mathematics, three thousand shekels a year. So if you're if you're looking at this overseas, um, that would be uh, eight hundred dollars per year, in addition to the rent that the renter has to pay. So when you're when you're looking at the rent, the cost of rent in an Israeli apartment, you need to f factor in one the rent, two the Arnona. Three the vat bite. So the vat bite is 250 shekels a month. So that would add an additional um, 3,000 shekels per year onto the onto the cost of renting this place. Mayish baneches. What is in the apartment? So they have lovely icons here. So let's just zoom in a bit so we can make this more clear. Um, you can see mizug is ticked. So there there is air conditioning as we searched for. Uh, Rihut. It's furnished. So uh, sorgim. I'm going to rely on my trusty uh, bars, as you said, that's those, I think they look kind of a bit depressing, to be honest, but uh, people, some people like them, they're the um, the bars, but they're good for anti-theft, uh, keeping our robbers. Um, Sorgim is the correct vowelization, so also this is a cool site called morefix.co.il, uh, for those learning Hebrew. So, um, okay, and... Um, Mitbach uh, Kasher. This is important. This is a kosher kitchen. So basically, this person is insisting that the renter um, keeps maintains kosher. So there, that would be like a religious landlord who wants a, uh, a, a religiously observant tenant, so that the tenant doesn't uh, render their kitchen unkosher. Pirut Rihut. This is uh, details about the furniture that they have. This is actually quite a new thing. Shnei Chadrei Shina. Two bedrooms, Shnei Chadre and Batia Salon Omitbach. Excuse my Hebrew. Mitsuyad. Um, I'm working. On, I'm working on my Hebrew. I'm working on my Hebrew. Um, a kol muchan le mugurim. Everything is, uh, you know, good. A kol chadash b'ta amtov. Everything is new and it's uh, tastefully done. You know, you'd say in English, I guess, right? Itzuv adri chali. This is what. This is one that they say all the time. Uh, designed by an ar architectural design now standards of rentals in israel are pretty crap excuse my language and they you will find gross exaggerations that that just might that might just mean something very basic uh, sorry that's the end of that so that's everything you can do here you have the mispar hoda this is if you're really interested i would actually take this down because you can use it to search quickly through yatch time for this uh, particular thing right now, a few more buttons just to quickly bring to your attention. This whole this whole website's built on a, I think it's like JavaScript, so it doesn't take kindly to zooming. So I'm gonna have to zoom out again. But you can click on this button to open this in an external tab, and now you have a unique URL. If you look at the URL here, it's actually let me just uh, zoom in by putting that into a notepad. Um, this is the all important unique URL for the property yajstime.co.il slash item slash a unique one two three four five six digit identifier 
So, you know, in the all important process of sending prospective uh, apartments to your pr prospective roommates slash parents, whatever, having that unique ID so you don't lose the ad that you're interested in, it's better than ticking the this heart icon, uh, in my opinion. So that's a cool feature. You can print it and this will just copy the link to your clipboard. Um, this will open up a pop-up allowing you to send it by email. Um, this is sharing on Facebook and this is sharing on WhatsApp. And that is uh, essentially really all there is to show. Now, the last thing I want to do is draw people's attention to Hatsag al Kabe Amapa, and this means show on the map. So um, if you're new to a city and you don't know where all the neighborhoods are, there's not really much use going through a gigantic list and seeing this is in this is in Talbia, this is in Nachtl Oud, etc. Right? So you can go onto this, Hatzak Al Gabe Mapa, and you'll click into Jerusalem. So you might have a few target neighborhoods. Now, I would consider myself a bit of a veteran of the uh flat hunting uh, game in Jerusalem particularly. So I've done um I kind of know the advantage of this over Facebook is that you can do it visually, right? So um, as a, like if you go into a Facebook group and there's just tons of random things here you can say I'm interested in Emek Rafaim let's say this is this and each neighborhood will appear and you can see there's a there's a count <coughs> there are 13 uh, properties currently in, in Emek and um, now they have it color coded again and let me just make sure I have this information right the ones it, with an orange boundary to the price are those being sold by a realtor right so this is uh, you set you see Tivu here in brackets. So this is from a realtor. This is a realtor listing. Hatzagat um, misparat telephone. So this is the name of um, name of the lister, right? Yoni. So this is again. I'm not assuming that people know Hebrew, but uh, you might even be able to just do visual recognition. So this is Yoni is the name of the person. Um, this is um, and you click in order to unveil their phone number. So uh, that's their number. So everything works in Israel by phone. So you can drop that into uh, your phone or WhatsApp and call the person, right? Um, and then you have, these are private listings. Uh, so same thing, except that it's been owned by a private individual. So I think I've heard from outside my home office that there is food, burgers imminently being delivered. So it seems like a good time to wrap up this video. Um, this is basically how to use Yaj Dime, calling people, whatever. Uh, you can also, same process exactly if you're looking to buy. Uh, you can even uh, go into the map view for buying as well. The only difference is going to be that the numbers are going to be obviously larger. Um, if And the searches are slightly different. Uh, even the same process for looking at cars. It's just a, if you go to private cars here, it's just different search options. You can search for manual. Yatsran, Manufacturer, you know, uh, you have your Opals and your other ones and Bahar to, to click. Um, different searches based on what you go for. But uh, essentially, if you are looking for, and let me just show quickly also uh, before I wrap this up, Shutafim, which is um, uh, 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 um, the room shares, flat shares. Uh, same thing, the first thing is your area, so let's do Tel Aviv this time to keep it varied. I'm going to go for Ir Tel Aviv Yafo, Mechir, the price, 5,000, and this is just for a room, so let's go for lower figures. Um, I don't know the, the rates at the moment, but let's say 3,000 to 6,000 shekels. And Shutafim is the number of uh, Shutafim, of people sharing, so um, from two again, so you might want to live two people, obviously it's you plus one, so that's the minimum. Uh, let's say you don't want to live with too many flatmates, so two to three would be U plus one or U plus two. Um, same stuff in terms of Chipus uh, Mid Kadem as just looking for a place to yourself. And you can see the URL structure here is roommates, and now you're only seeing listings for uh, these people are all offering a room, not an actual place. So if we take this listing in Tel Aviv, for instance, um, or Lazarov 25. Um, been actually a while since I, yeah our Lazarov is that street there in Tel Aviv quite central to the beach lovely click for the person's phone number Gaia this is her phone number description is down here and uh, pictures now should show a room the room so this is the room that they're renting 
Uh, not too bad, uh, but what? What was the price again? 4,000 shekels just, just for that room? Um, and the living spaces. So guys, that's pretty much everything there is to know about uh, looking on Yajdaim for rental properties. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, at the end of every video, I just quickly drop in the link to my website. Uh, if I just get rid of the blog here, danielrosal.co.il. I will not be able to personally help you with your flat hunting, uh, flat hunting uh, adventure, but I, uh, I'm always happy to just get in touch with people and uh, correspond on any other questions. So uh, if you are currently looking for your next apartment, uh, good luck with the process. And uh, at the moment, uh, during the coronavirus, please stay home and stay safe.